How's everybody? Good, good. Byron, uh, obviously this, this game means a lot. You guys can clinch a playoff spot. Just thinking about Brady, right? It's only been two years he wasn't in the playoffs. Um, the year after he won the Super Bowl as, as a starter, and then when he hurt his ACL. As a quarterback, a guy that's played against him, maybe knocked you out of a couple of those games. What, what kind of a streak is that? Yeah, he got me once. <laughs> <laughs> gotten everybody, but just put that in perspective because, you know, obviously there's a lot of confidence when you have a guy like that in a big game like you're playing something. I mean, you can't really speak on what we've saw and what we've really seen, right? Uh, nobody else to really compare it to. Uh, the consistency that he's had from the time he came in and became the starter is really unreal. We haven't really seen it. Uh, there's been some consistent players, some Hall of Fame players. But man, this even supersedes that, right? When you really think of what he's doing on a day in, day out basis, uh, changing teams and still being a part of that and still having those same things happen. That's a unique thing. And I think it speaks a lot for who he is as a player, how he prepares, why he prepares, why he do all those things. He do all those things for those moments to have success in those moments. I think his awareness, when you play as long as he had, you don't play great every time you go out. So you have moments where you have whatever, two interceptions or whatever. The key goal, which he understands, is winning the football game. Uh, everything that we do is to try to win the game. So win the game, however you got to win the game, uh, none of that mattered. At the end, nothing mattered. Nobody's thinking, oh, he's had two interceptions. That's the last thing through his mind. Everybody's out there is trying to figure out how we got who's going to make the play to win the football game. So when you're in the game, trust me, it's just just being out there. That last play is not even in your thought process, really, because the opponent's too good. What you're trying to do is too is very hard to do. So you don't really have time to really think about what has happened early on in the game. You just got to go play and try to play your best down in and down out. Long ago, but um, in a week like this, do you go back and watch that tape? And can you kind of put in perspective what that loss did or meant for you guys as compared to where you are now? Oh yeah, you watch everything. You watch. I mean, you watch the last couple times you played these guys. Really, from a personnel standpoint, you go back a long time. Really, from a preparation standpoint of what you're thinking, what you're seeing from a personnel, what they're doing scheme wise. So yeah, you watch it all. You watch it all. Try to learn as much as you can from it. Uh, learn things not to do, learn things to do. So that's that's part of it, really. Is that's part of you, really. You're just getting ready to play, getting ready to play. Understand what happened to you, and it's a division opponent. So we know each other well. Won't be no surprises. I know you're not going to give away a game plan, but you no, I'm not. <laughs> but is there a chance that we may see a little bit more hurry up? You, you guys are so good in it. You guys have seen it before. You guys have seen it all year. It's been here really all year. It's just when we use it and win football games with it, it it's a good thing. You know, it's exciting, right? We've won. We've been in so many games like that where we've won at the end. But it's 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 been there all year. It's been there all year. We've been using it all year from week one to right now, really. So. And why why is it? why why are you guys so successful when you're in that hurry up offense? Do you think is it because of mostly Tom? Oh, it's, it's all 11, right? He has to throw it to somebody. Somebody has to block for him. We got to get him in the right play. So, I mean, it's it's the really – I look at it as our ability to be in that situation and win a football game, really, regardless of what's been going on throughout in, the game. Are we capable of finding a way to win the football game? Uh, we preach, right, as coaches all the time. You know, everybody go in their team and say, hey, it comes down to who has the ball last, the last four minutes of the game. And when it does, we want to be capable of winning those football games. So that's what I think you guys saw throughout the season. But we run some new huddle, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. It's just when you win football games with it at the end, it puts a little bit more emotion, makes it a little bit more dramatic. But it's no different than what we practice every day. Right. You guys want to get out, play well early, no matter who you're playing. But 
is there more of an urgency to that when you're playing a team where if you can get them behind, it takes them out of the formula that's worked for them the last six weeks? Well, we felt that way. That's how I see football, really. That's how I viewed it, you know, since I'm all the time. Try to score as much as you can, put the other team – in a bad spot, so they chasing. That's every week. So every, as, since I've been a coach, I've always tried to do that. Uh, that's a off, that's really an offensive philosophy of really just trying to start fast. Everybody preached that of just trying to go out, start fast, and score as many points as possible. Uh, that's that's really always been our philosophy. Seven of Tom Brady's nine interceptions this year have been on passes targeting Mike Evans. Um, I know that's a connection that's that's been money the last two years. What's happened this year that's made that a little trick? I think that's one of those analytics things that, I mean, it's factual, but it means nothing really. Uh, when you look at the, the interceptions and you really evaluate them, I don't know if that connection means anything. Uh, it's just one of those things that ana numbers will say, give us something to talk about, but I don't think that had anything to do with anything, to be honest with you. When you watch them behind each other, you see where your turnovers come from. I don't think they connected. But, but even beyond the, the numbers, um, it seems like, I mean, I know for a little while there, it was an issue with the downfield passing, the, the two of them connecting. Um, I know, unfortunately, you got it right in San Francisco, but that, that play was called back with a penalty. But just what, what's kind of happened this year that's made that, that connection a little bit trickier? And is it a matter of just, I know they get reps in practice, but is it just continuing to rep it out to improve it? Yeah, each year is different. You know, each year is different. Uh, what you connect on, how you connect on it is different. It's really different every week, every year, every game, really. So uh, we got a lot of football left. That's all how I see it. We have a great opportunity Sunday to win the division, playing against a good team, a good opponent. So we're just getting ready and excited to play. From the outside looking in, um, Tom Brady's had a pretty frustrating year and you know has seemed, you know, we've seen him kind of on the sideline uh, be a little bit angry. So I'm wondering behind the scenes, what are we not seeing? What is he still enjoying about this football season? What, what, what has made him happy that you've seen? Well, he loves the game. You know, he loves the game and, you know, he loves these moments, right? We got an opportunity to win the division Sunday. That's really everything I said in a couple of weeks, everything we said that we wanted to do, we had that opportunity. Now, it's looked different than what it has been in the past. And so it's – but it's the same thing still in front of you. So – Two football, good football teams about to play each other Sunday. Uh, we got an opportunity to, to win the division. That in itself is fun, you know, especially what we're about winning, trying to advance and get to the, the tournament. And we got a good opportunity for that, you know, this Sunday, this weekend. Coach Bolton said that um, he needed to do a better job of kind of that, that running back rotation between, you know, Leonard Fournette and, and Rashad White. Um, what would you like to see? But that's what we're doing when we're in the game. I know who's in the game at the time. Sometimes the what happens within that series determines who, who gets sometimes the most reps. But we just plan. Uh, I see it as every other position. We're going to put who's ever out there, go play to your skill set, play the best you can play, help us win football games. We're at that time of year where we're in December football, really, where we just got to have all our thoughts really on winning and how to win football games. And whatever it is, whatever it takes, we're going to try to do that.